Hello, my name is Dawn, but a lot of you call me... Spice Dawn. Sure do. Now, I have to tell you something, okay? I'm going to read this to you. Reminiscent of the most photographed lighthouse in the world, the Portland Warmer takes you to a peaceful Maine shoreline featuring handcrafted galvanized steel, cutout windows, and a misty glow. It alludes to a steady beacon of hope in the distance. Now, I gotta tell you something first about this flyer. See here how the lighthouse looks tall and skinny, like I wish I was? <laughs> but this image got kind of stretched during the flyer making process. So be sure to let your customers know that this is the image that truly shows the dimensions of the warmer. So the warmer is not tall and skinny like the front shows, but it is a shorter and more squat like me. <laughs> so there you have it. You're, anyway. You're silly. I know, but it is. Now, this warmer is 10 inches high, which is a tall one, but I measured it from the bottom by setting the warmer on my little measuring stick, and it is six inches across as far as its little footprint, okay? Now, some of you were like, that has to be a typo. It says it takes a 15 watt bulb. Well, it does. There's a 15 watt bulb in here, and this warmer is going to get plenty warm enough, I believe, unless you set your air conditioning to a frigid blizzard temperatures during the summer. But this warmer is going to get warm enough to melt your wax because I waited to do this video till it had been on for quite a while. Now, it's not so warm that I am worried about it getting too hot. It just feels like that cup of coffee that you get in the morning that you put your hands around because you're a little chilly and you want to enjoy your hot cuppa. So it's like that. So don't worry. It's not too hot. It's just right. Okay. Now let me show you some cool things. You saw the box. All right. So we're going to slide this big honking box out of my way. Okay. Now, first things first. It has the distressed galvanized steel kind of look to it, okay? That's something that's on purpose, okay? So there's different grades of that. Some of it you can tell is brushed on. Uh, it is like really, really a cool warmer. On the back, of course, it says Sensi, which is lovely. But let me tell you a little bit about this. This is one piece. Okay, here's your dish, fits nicely. Okay, it moves around a little bit, but that's okay. Down in there is your 15 watt ball, but we're not gonna have Colin go blind by sticking the camera down in the hole. It's a 15 watt ball. Now, when I first opened mine up, now remember, your warmer lived in a box its entire life until you open it. So, I suppose if I lived in a box and was brought by water, air, and ground, <laughs> that I might get a little bit of wear and tear. So I had a tiny, a little like, eh, I wouldn't even call it a dent. I would just call it just a little ink. Eh. So because I'm handy and Colin was busy, I got out my pliers not needle nose, but the regular clampy kind. And I just put it on there and I went eh, real easy. And I fixed my little like ding. I don't want the whole world trying to send these back because there's like some little thing and they're like, oh, my lid fits crooked. Oh, just, just fix it. I mean, it's not a big deal. This stuff, although do not push it with your hand because this is as sharp as a razor blade. I had to tell Colin that because I didn't want him bleeding all over the camera when he was doing the video. So, pliers, if you want to make sure you don't scuff the finish, take a little paper towel, fold it over, 
put it there as a buffer for both inside and out if you want to adjust. Now, there's a lip. When you look at your glass, you can see there's a little lip here. So if you want that to fit just so, you can push it down a teeny little bit. Now, keep in mind that when you go to take the lid off, put your hand on the warmer when you wiggle your lid off. Because I don't want anybody doing a wax change and be like, wah! You know, so I'm just telling you. Tin galvanized steel, it's probably not tin, but galvanized steel is a funny creature and it is subject to the whims of gravity. <laughs> so just play with yours a little bit. Don't rub your finger on it. You'll be bleeding and all these consultants all across the world and all these customers will have to take out stock in band-aids. Okay, so just do that. But um, you can get it to fit just how you like. Colin, would you like to tell them how you did it? Well, I used the black handle pliers, which as you say are normal pliers, not needle nose pliers. And I just very carefully went all the way around and very, very slightly lifted it to, like. en to enlarge it slightly, slightly, so it wasn't overly tight. Right. But remember, because this is angled, getting bigger as you go, you're always going to get it, you know, wanting to slip down onto the warmer. So like I said, when you go to take your dish off, or your lid off, just grasp the bottom and give it a little push and it'll come off nicely if you choose to jam it down on there so you don't have like a little line of light showing. But I just love this warmer, just love it. It is going to be such a beautiful compliment to my decor because I don't do a lot of like beachy things because I've never found a real seashell in my entire life, 57 years, never been to a beach where there was an actual, actual seashell. Lots of beach glass, but no shells. So this kind of beachy, lakeish. well, I guess you don't need lighthouses on lakes, do you? <laughs> oh yeah, Lake Erie has a bunch. Oh, you're right, okay, you're right. I forgot about that. Okay, so beachy, lakey, this is going to be the perfect, perfect decor. So, I know your customers are going to love this warmer as much as mine do. This is already promised to one of my besties. So, let's talk about the scent. It is called Harbor's Edge. Now, it's nice. I wouldn't even call this a manly scent. It's crisp. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. Like, very nice. People are gonna love this. So there you have it. Feel free to share my video if you didn't get yours yet and you want to show this beauty off. And uh, like I said, your customers are going to love it as much as mine do. Bye.